So, as some of you know, I play a lot of. Er, let's find it. I play a lot of this game. I play a lot of FIFA 13, and so far, I don't think I've pre-ordered FIFA 14. I think it's some. Um, I think I've pre-ordered, but I haven't paid for it. I use Shop2.net because I can pay for my pre-order straight away, so I know that I've been paid for. It's like uh, GTA 5. I have already paid for that. That's already already ready to go out. Uh, that's already gone out of my account. So as soon as that comes out, I just know that's going to turn up. I'm going to do the same with this, the new one, obviously, and pre-order and pay for that. Now my thing is that there is the next-gen console coming out, which is the PS. Three, uh, PS4, which I would love to have the money to go out and get and bend on and pick up the new FIFA 14 for that, but I don't think it's going to happen because with the run up to like Christmas and stuff like that, uh, you have to put money towards that, and I just don't have £349, I think it'll be, to spend on a new game console. It's just not going to happen yet. Like I said, yet. It will happen probably middle of next year or before if I can do it because I'm going to save up and get one because I'm definitely getting one uh, I've always been a PS3 uh, PlayStation fan from get go uh, had a PS1, had a PS2, had a PSP uh, got a PS Vita over there, got my PlayStation 3 and the one downstairs as well I could get rid of one of my PlayStation 3 to pick up a PlayStation 4 and have it a trade in and see what I could get but I doubt I'd get much for it. Uh, it's not like it's one of the new slimline job, but it's flat with the slide top. I hate that. I hate that slide top so much. I prefer this, the old one. It's just nicer, <laughs> my opinion. But yeah, uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna see what I can do with the PS4. I loved, like I said, I love love to be able to go. Ah, oh, I, I can have a fourth one on release day and go. Bah, spend all that money. But it's not something I can do at this moment. Uh, there's other there's other factors I've got to put into it and try and sort out first. So if I can get it beforehand, great. If I can't, we'll just have to see. So if you had a choice between the next gen consoles, which would you pick? Uh, we do have a Wii in this house, but we. I think it's rarely been set up here because we just don't. It's a game really. It, the Wii for me is a game for all families, and for me personally, uh, I'm. I hate to. I am a social gamer. Like I like to play with my friends online and have people over and play games, but. I tend to like doing like solo stuff, like playing career mode, uh, playing single person games. It just the way I am. I've always been that way. <laughs> oh, bloody hell! You're in it. You're in it. Twelve fifty-five. Not good. Anyway, and that's uh, PM, not AM. And so. Yeah, I've always been that kind of way. I am looking forward to FIFA 14. I'm hoping, I'm hoping and finger crossed that they are going to bring in a uh, better square conference, uh, better square premiere, the one below League 2, because I like, I just like the idea that you might be able to go from one, get something from the, right at the bottom of that league, all the way up to the premiership. And Champions League finals and stuff. I just love the that idea. If that happens, I it'll be interesting to see who you'll pick and who, how uh, people like on who do career moves would go as well. Because if that is the case. I think there's going to be some interesting players that will get good. Because if you think about it, a lot of those players are either going to be part timers or they're going to be professional. But they're going to be young. Some players that no one's ever heard of could be an absolute diamond. So it'll be interesting to see what happened with that. Then um, that's it to be my cap trader at the minute, so I apologise for keep saying that. So yeah, I'm gonna probably gonna pre-order that next month. Uh, look at and in a sense look at seeing if I can order a PS4 or something. 
as I said, I'd love to uh, pick one up uh, on release date because, yeah, it should be a thought it's brand new. I'd love to pick one up on release date, so we will have to see on that one and see what else I can do with trying to s save up for that. Uh, I know for a fact if I could, I could, I would put 100 quid away up until this November. July, July. That would give me four months to get the uh, money for it, but it's a lot of money to put away and I need money to live and stuff, so we'll see. Uh, anyway guys, that's it. Bye.